Welcome back to it, your Feel Good Breakfast show. It is Express. So we're live on SABC3. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, now, someone once said, a very wise person said, life is short. You may as well live it with really great hair. Yes, they did say that, and I couldn't agree more. Uh, your hair is <laughs> one of the very first things a person will notice about you, uh, whether you do have hair or not. Uh, and that's why it's very important, if you do have hair, to always have and maintain a neat and tidy look. Of course, this morning we chat to our very own the cat factor and his trusted barber Jason Benjamin on how they work together to master cats look and share some expert <laughs> tips on how we can master our own uh, cat it good is a team morning effort. it is a team it's effort. a team effort Jason it is a team effort right <laughs> good morning <laughs> but Katla, I know that you've been going to to Jason uh, uh, for this collaboration to get your hair good for many many years I tell have. us about this relationship well I mean I I, I first uh, found Jay I mean because I'm always constantly on the move so the need for me to find somebody whom I could trust firstly with their capabilities Abilities as a barber, mm. uh, and then be able to trust them to let's say come to my house yeah. or wherever it may be, like of, that, wherever I may be working. Yeah. Um, so is that a picture of you? You art at home and Jason yeah, rocks up and he set. comes. I was actually on set about to shoot a commercial, oh. and uh, Jay had to make his way like all the way to the other side of the mountain wow. uh, to come and help me out at literally at a, and that's, that was the other the other thing as well. At a moment's notice when I need Jay, yeah. he's there. I literally give him a call. I say seven o'clock tomorrow morning. He's like cool yeah, yeah which is absolutely amazing and gracious of him and then uh, over and above that he's just a brilliant barber and uh, obviously you work on a relationship over time yeah. um, him understanding my look and what I want and him obviously infusing his personality and his advice on what he thinks will work yeah. best for me and over the years um, that I think has resulted in what we have right now where he's he's my go-to person this is incredible people always talk about their relationship with their barber and you'll often see on social media people talking about not wanting to cheat on their barber but I mean I feel like <laughs> Someone like Jason is definitely not the type of barber you cheat on if this is someone who travels across mountains and, and areas of the province. I mean, this is insane. Jason, you're a magician, clearly, in uh, Kat's life. But let's talk about his haircut. And I've seen many, many times he's rocked such stunning haircuts and he's able to transition these haircuts and change them up in the most beautiful way when he's on stage, on screen, on a TV commercial. But you switch it up and still keep a nice signature frame. What's the style that you sort of approach for Kat? Well, first, I'd like to say, um, if you get a reliable barber, stick with that person so you can get a consistent, sharp haircut, you understand? Yeah. So at Catlejo, he's worn this haircut for, like, I think... It's been a lifetime. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. It feels like a lifetime. <laughs> so sure. every time I go to him, I'd know what to cut him, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you travel. You travel to where he, wherever he is because, you know, he simply cannot do without you, it seems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, if I could have Jason in my pocket the whole time, <laughs> I certainly would. I just arrive on set every single morning. Just sharp it up. Just keep it, you know. Uh, but, yeah. uh, Kit, uh, what are some of the best beard styles, uh, you know, for different shaped uh, uh, faces? Maybe not beard styles per se, necessarily. <laughs> I, th I think Jason is more uh, uh, than answering that yeah, kind of question. Jason because I, don't, about that. I, I carry a little bit of, of, of beard, which yeah. recently has found a bit of personality and has been growing a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's rich. And, and in fact, uh, when we were, that, that picture you saw of us on set yeah. uh, is the first time when I was like, actually, because usually I just say, just take it all off. Yes. And I was like, actually, no, shape it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, I want to have uh, a little bit of emphasis here on my little goatee that's yeah. finding, like I said, it's a finding personality. a personality. And it's coming through. You know what I mean? It's and he shaped through. it quite nicely. And since then, I've just been going with, with, with this. What are some of the, I suppose, the, the beard styles that you sort of work with when it comes to someone like yeah, your yeah. cat, I guess, who doesn't grow a, a full beard? A what full sort of beard, treatments yeah. do you I'd do? I'd say, like, if you want to keep it boxed, like with cat's face, mm. keep it like his face is round, so you'd want to keep it boxed, you know? Mm. And then with you, I'd say you'd want to keep it clean on the side and just focus on the jawline, and that's what we call a goatee. Oh, I mean, this is a man who knows what he's talking about. Absolutely. This is a man. Kat, why is uh, mastering your look so important? And what does mastering your look mean to you? I mean, it's very important. It, no matter what industry you find yourself in, Tabzi, you, you know mm. more than most how important it is to represent yourself well in the, those first impressions that you make mm. and how important they can be, uh, whether it be closing that deal or making that, that first impression that lasts a long time that will serve you best mm. in years to come. Mm. So you always want to be maintaining 
a master look, your own personal look. And for me, it revolves around, around three things. And yeah. one is, is your skin. You need to really take care of your skin. Yeah. We've spoken about that earlier on when we talked about our yes, quote of the day, about how your skin later on in life will show how you treated it. So other than the obvious, which is drinking water, mm. staying hydrated, I think it's very important that you do invest in products that serve the longevity yeah. of your skin. So yeah. that, you know, 10, 20 years down the line, you can look at yourself and be like, wow, I still look and feel my age in terms of my skin. So that's yeah. very, very important. Um, when it comes to your hair, I think it's very important that you d just don't just let it lie there. It's, yeah. it's an extension of your personality. So just do something with it that really reflects yourself inside. And then I think third, in terms of mastering your look, it's very important that you learn to be comfortable with setting your own trends. Mm, mm. Do things that make you uniquely you. Like, for instance, when we started doing this with Gunther, yeah. uh, on, those photos, on set, expressive yeah, people photos. People like, oh, why, what are you doing? Like, it's, yeah. it's silly. But then it, it, after a while, started becoming a bit of a signature yes. for me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and, and, and that's how people like, I think, you know, Rich Munisi becomes who he is yes. because he's confident enough to set his own trends, knowing that there will, there will be a community that will vibe yeah. with him. Uh, about that kind of trend. Yeah. So be confident enough to do that. And these are all the different pieces that come together to build your brand that help you master your look. Uh, Jason, did you write this quote? Life is short. You may as well live it with really great hair. Did you write that? <laughs> it sounds like something you, 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 you might have said, no? Mm. Uh, no, I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Jason, for joining us, Kat. Thank you very much for, of course, sharing all of those tips with us. But for you at home, another week has passed and we have a second lucky viewer who has won a 5,000 rand shopping voucher to master the look compliments of Big Flex. Now, a big congratulations to Nutwa Asherton Luke, who said, I master my look by wearing trends and mix it with my style. I like to keep it clean and simple. Ah, nice. We hope you enjoy every minute of your shopping spree, my boy. And of course, if you didn't win this week's voucher, don't fret, because Big Flex are giving another lucky viewer a chance to win 5,000 rand shopping voucher this week. Reply to the competition post on Expresso's Facebook or Twitter pages uh, and tell us from your hair to your skin what's your grooming secret to hashtag master your look and this week's competition closes at 12 p.m. on Friday the 24th of July you don't have that much time so be sure to get your entries in terms and conditions can be found on expressoshow.com master your look with big flex